Hi, welcome. In this video, I will share with you in this video four tips that are very important to me and that I advise you to do if you want to play and sing bossa nova the right way. These are tips that I that are based on my observations on people that I see playing that style of music in concerts, but also of my students who play and sing bossa nova. So the first thing you have to be aware of and to do well is, is the rhythm pattern. So bossa nova can be played with mostly two different rhythms. The one that is very typical from bossa nova and the one, the one that is very typical from samba because some bossa novas are based on the samba rhythm. So let me show you the first rhythm that is very easy to play. Let's pick this D major chord with a F sharp at the bass. It's a very typical bossa nova chord. So um, the first rhythm is this one. So there are two elements, the bass and this three fingers that play these three strings. The bass and the high, so all the fingers, then just the high and then the thumb and the high. Just this. Very often people play rhythms that are much more complicated than that, but if you listen to Jean Giberto, you will hear this rhythm a lot. And I transcribed like more than 50 songs of Jean Gilberto with, um, and I analyzed all the different rhythmic patterns that he uses, and this pattern is very common. Um, so if you want to do it properly, you have to keep the strings ringing. So you don't have to pull again the, you know, the fingers on the strings. It's not this, is. And the common mistake that I see is when you go back to the beginning of the pattern, you have to wait. It's not ching, ching, boom, ching, 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 boom, ching. It's ching, ching, boom, ching, 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 boom, ching. Ting, ting, and this, boom, ting, ting, this moment where you wait for the the next beat to come, is the the moment that is mo the most important. It it gives that, you know, that moment where you it's like a pause. Ting, ting, boom, ting, ting, ting. Okay, this was the first pattern that is very common and that is very easy to play so start playing bossa nova by, by playing this pattern the pattern that is commonly um, that he, that is taught by a lot of teachers that didn't transcribe this music is this one When you see someone teaching this rhythm, try to check if this person is Brazilian and played bossa nova a lot in his life or if he transcribed actual bossa nova songs because most of the time it's not the case, it's just people trying to find this rhythm on the internet on a tutorial and they are also guitar teacher so they do another tutorial thinking they will explain better which is may be the case, but the rhythm is not played in bossa nova. This rhythm, Jean Gilberto almost never plays this rhythm. I've only found one or two CDs where you can hear this rhythm. A CD is from um, uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim, My, uh, <laughs> but the, um, uh, Jean Gilberto almost never plays this rhythm. So the, this rhythm, if you put it upside down, it it, in fact, it's a samba rhythm that I'm going to show you. The second pattern you can use often on bossa nova. It's more complicated, but I'm going to show you show it to you. One, two, three, four. And then we go back to the beginning. So let me 
do it most sl uh, slowly. One, two, three, four. And there, there was the first beat of the the, the new, uh, the beginning of the pattern, which is twice longer than the the other pattern. So I'm going to sh to do it a bit more. Uh, faster. I don't want to explain step by step how I do this because I have another video where I explain exactly how to play this pattern. Um, if I do it faster, which would be a samba song, um, So here I, I have a lot of variations, some muted strings and all sort of effects. I don't want to explain that in this video, but you can play this in bossa nova if you play slowly. And some bossa nova are based only on that rhythm that was um, used a lot by Jean Gilberto. So one, two, three, four. So yeah, um, I start this rhythm by doing punting, but you can start it with um, with this just before the first beat. So one, two, three, four. And we play the chord that is going to be in the next bar just before the bar. Okay, so this was the first step. There was one easy pattern and one difficult pattern. If you manage to play the difficult one, you will be able to play samba, any samba song, so that's pretty useful, but let's focus on bossa nova on that video. The second tip I want to give you, which is also a tip based on the guitar, and after that we'll speak about the voice, uh, is to to play bossa nova chords. There are some chords that are very specific to bossa nova, so basically all the jazz chords usually they work with bossa nova, so major seven chords, this kind of chord, they work very well, this kind of chord. If you want to play it in Juan Gilberto style, it will be more like this, or maybe like this. Maybe even like this, like this kind of voicings. And there are some chords that you can play that are very specific to bossa nova. Some I will show you most of the the easy ones. So when you have a chord, you can put like um, E major seven chord. Sorry, F major seven you can put the third on the bass, or the fifth, but let's play with the third. This chord is very common in bossa nova, this voicing. Also, this one is maybe the most typical of bossa nova. It's a diminished chord with a flat 13. And when you have a 7 chord, like this for example, you can put the 5th on the bass. Very often, Jean Gilberto doesn't play this, but he plays this. He always tries to, tries to have the lower note on the bass. So always play the E string. And there are some other chords that are very typical. I won't show you most of them, but you know, some, this kind of chord with a lot of open strings are very typical from Bossa Nova and Samba. This one too, you have a major chord here of this G major. It's more like Samba rhythm, but this chord sounds great. Also this one for example. The third tip is about the voice and the singing, um, it really helps if you learn Portuguese or if you spend a lot of energy learning the, to, 
sing with the right accent because it gives a very important it, it gives a sound that really make this music sound great uh, I won't explain to you how you can learn Portuguese. I speak Portuguese and I learned Portuguese pretty fast. I did a video about it, by the way. So if you want to get some, some tips about it, go see this video. I think it's in French, but it, you have subtitles. So I won't focus on this, but I will more focus on the accent here in this video. There is something that you have to be able to hear in the Portuguese accent from Brazil. So let me speak a bit in Portuguese. Por exemplo, se eu falo em português um pouquinho, tá? Olha só. Um, se eu falo assim com o sotaque do Brasil. Se eu falo assim com o sotaque do Brasil. Uh, in the way I speak, and in the accent of uh, the Brazilian accent of Portuguese, you have in a lot of different words, you have this acceleration and slowing down. Com sotaque do Brasil. You have some accent and some slowing down and accelerations. You have this in some other languages, but it, in Brazilian accent of Portuguese, it's really kind of obvious. And it, it's really important musically when you sing with this Brazilian, with the right accent. And this is something that you can hear also in the grooves of Brazilian music. For example, uh, if you, you know, if you already listen to the, um, the notes, the 16th note that you can hear in samba and in all the styles of music of Brazil, it's not taki chiki taki chiki taki chiki taki chiki taki chiki. It's not usually it's well where there when there is some groove, it's not played very even. It's more so it, it's like if I do it very slow and I, I exaggerate it, it's it's not some kind of triplet or something. Or s it's not that. It's just 16th note, but there is some acceleration So uh, between two beats. There is some acceleration and then slowing down. So the second and the third a uh, 16th note of a beat is a bit too early and then we slow down to to land on the right moment on the second beat so tak chike tak chike tak chike tak chike tak chike and this is the groove you can feel with the shaker for example sometimes what we say about the brazilian groove it's that it's not if you imagine the groove going on, it's not like a ball that is rolling on the floor. It's more like an egg. If you imagine an egg that is rolling on the floor, it goes a bit fast and then slows down and fast and slows down. It's not perfectly at the same um, speed. It's more or less, you can see it this way. I think it's a good image. So this is an important part of uh, singing bossa nova, singing with the right accent. So listening to recordings, this is how I learned actually. I learned by imitating a lot um, João Gilberto and also Teresa Cristina uh, for the samba music and João Gilberto for the bossa nova music. So it's very important to try to get all the little, the subtle things in the accent, the accelerations and all the things that you that will give a really uh, a great um, mood and that will make your bossa nova sound much better. Uh, and the fourth advice is also about singing: is please, when you sing bossa nova, sing soft. It's a style of music that was created by mostly two musicians, João Gilberto and Antonio Carlos Jobim, Tom Jobim, and um, these two. Uh, Jobim was a composer and a musician, and João Gilberto was mostly a, a singer and a guitar player. And this, they used to sing very soft. And that's part of the song of Bossa Nova. It's not an obligation. You can sing Bossa Nova very loud, but it won't sound that um, typical. So I think it's a good thing to try to sing very soft, and I say that especially for singers that are used to sing loud. You know, with a with a voice you can really hear, and especially if these singers that 
worked a lot on their voice and then you're asking them to whisper. They're like, come on, I spent 15 years trying to sing and have a great voice and now you're asking me to do this kind of sounds. What? No, no, I won't do it. So yeah, that that's part of the style of this music. That's my point of view. It's not an obligation, but I think it sounds more typical if you do that. If you sing very soft and sometimes it's almost whispering. Tá fazendo ano e meio, amor Que o nosso lar desmoronou Meu sabia Cruel desilusão foi tudo que ficou, ficou para machucar meu coração. Okay, I hope that you really like this video, that it will help you singing Bossa Nova better. Maybe you weren't aware of one of these tips, so I hope that helped you being more aware of these things. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. <laughs> please share this video, put a thumb up and you know what to do for the YouTube algorithms. See you. Tá fazendo ano e meio, amor, que o nosso lar desmoronou. Meu sabia.